being deeply accepted <laughs> and liked is so unfamiliar that the brain, my brain at least, is afraid of it. <laughs> it's actually afraid of it. It actually rejects it on many levels because it doesn't understand it. It hasn't had that experience. And so it's unpredictable. It's unknown. What is it like to be accepted fully, to be loved completely, to be valued for who you are and not what you produce? What is that like? The brain has no idea what that's like. And because that is unknown, unfamiliar territory and unpredictable, it rejects it. It says, I don't want that because I can't see down that road and it's scary. <laughs> it's terrified of being <laughs> loved unconditionally <laughs> because it has no way to understand what that means not only can it not predict it it really can't understand it at all so it's just terrified and yeah because it's terrified it says we don't want that that's scary we we can't keep you safe there it's amazing to witness again and again how this fear rises. Fear of being loved. Fear of being liked. Fear of being accepted. It feels so much safer to the mind, to ego, to just believe you're not going to like me. <laughs> to just say, well, you don't have to like me. And we can leave it at that. You don't have to like me. But then what happens if you do like me? It gets frightening. Ego gets scared. Ego gets uncomfortable with that because it doesn't know what to do with it. That's a sensation that it's never experienced before. <laughs> it knows what happens if it's not liked. It knows what happens if it's not received. It's not. That's pretty clear cut. There's a definite end there. It can see all the way to the end of that road. It knows how that story goes. You don't like me, fine that's how that ends. <laughs> but what happens when you do? What happens when you love me? What happens when nothing stops you from loving me the way that nothing stops me from loving you? What happens then? Ego freaks the fuck out. <laughs> it does not know what to do there. And it's gonna keep just squirming and not knowing because that's what's happening. That's what this is, to love unconditionally and to be unconditionally loved. And of course, that is the love that Source is beaming for us at all times. That, that is our true self, beaming for ourselves. But to actually experience and participate in that love while in physical form. <laughs> it just, it literally blows the mind. Ego doesn't know what to do because this is not the realm of ego. This is not the realm of mind. It doesn't get it. But it's fascinating to watch. Fascinating. And I mean, feeling all the fear. It's a lot of fear. It just keeps coming back. I expect that it will for some time because this is deeply rooted. <laughs> and it's hardwired into the brain to reject things that it doesn't understand and it can't predict. So it's, it's going to keep rejecting unconditional love. I mean, that's why it's a challenge and experience to unconditionally love ourselves. And then apply that to receiving that unconditional love from another. Because it's, it's one thing to give, it's another to receive to allow the reception of it. That's, that's really where the mind freaks the fuck out. <laughs> Fascinating. And I'm just gonna keep watching it because it's gonna keep happening because this love doesn't stop. <laughs> and I'm going to frolic in it right now. So it is.